<sighs> Which ones do we choose? All of them is the answer. Ta-da! We are officially Christmassy. everybody we again welcome back to Xamilia Rex and another weekly vlog I'm literally just filming this intro at the same time as I filmed my outro for the last one because I forgot to uh forgot to film it yesterday so I'm currently crippled <laughs> again my back when I went to um pets at home with Toby yesterday and I just bent down to pick him um out the boot or like put his lead on to get him out the boot and my back just went bing and I was like oh that doesn't feel good and it's just been getting gradually worse and worse so I'm literally, I don't know if you can see, but I can't, I can't straighten it so I'm just kind of like walking like that, I've dosed up on Cocodamol, I'm just sort of hobbling around the house trying to, um, trying to get stuff done. So Lucy is saving the day and she's coming to collect Toby in about 10 minutes and take him on a group walk for me which is a huge help um because he gets a bit angsty if he doesn't get out of the house and yeah just a bit miserable really i was so excited to go back to the gym this week believe it or not i know i've been saying it for weeks and weeks but i really was and i'm like damn it <laughs> so yeah cocoa ball to the rescue and lots of tea and hot water bottles but um yeah i hope you're well hope you liked last week's vlog hope you enjoyed my bangkok vlog post loads of things going on this week lauren's coming over on wednesday which i'm very excited about i'm going to see the take that musical tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to walk and sit in my seat um what else boys coming around for beer i think on friday uh that's about it so yeah exciting week so hopefully the vlog will be a good one this one <laughs> if i'm not confined to the house what is wrong with me this year toby i'm always ill people are gonna stop watching <coughs> the biggest disaster of all this is the last tea bag what are we gonna do I don't know where I've put my um, Kylie Minogue glasses. I can't seem to find them, so I've got my Tommy Hilfiger ones on, if anybody wants to know. Don't like them as much, but I still think they're quite nice. Anyway, yeah, that's my news for the day. <laughs> Exciting. Starting the day as I mean to go on with some healthy Greek yogurt, um, leaf honey, and some nuts. Toby is desperate to get some. Have a crinkly elephant instead. Honestly, it tastes better. Try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> Did you enjoy <laughs> Did you enjoy your group walk with Auntie Lucy? You've come back a very soggy doggy and not that tired. I was hoping that you were just going to pass out and let me carry on with my work. <laughs> He's like, no, excuse me, I'm just destroying this rope squirrel, fox, whatever it is. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> Ugh. I just had an urge to watch like the vlog when yeah, I first brought Toby it. home. Look how big he oh, is yeah. now, guys. You You're so big. Why are you so big? You want the cuddle, don't you? Where's your little squishy hey. face gone? Hey? Exploring. Oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this incredible parcel that's just come through from Nikki Clark. So they've just launched um, like a rose gold set. So they've got like a styling tongue, some straighteners and a um, hair dryer. And they're just, they're gorgeous for a start. Oh my God, rose gold, yes. But look at these incredible flowers that they sent along as well. They're absolutely beautiful. And this little crate, I think I'm going to put fairy lights in this. That'll be good for Christmas, won't it? Oh, Toby's toys! Toby, your toys can go in there! Oh, thank you so much, Nikki Clark. This is beautiful. Honestly, this is beautiful. So, I am dosed up on Cocodamol and ready for the theatre. So tonight I'm going to watch The Band, which is Gary Barlow's Take That musical, um, which looks really cheesy, but I actually think it might be quite fun. It's probably going to be one of those where you don't actually realise just how many Take That songs you know until you sat there singing along with a glass of wine. So yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm going with my friend Hot Top Lizzie. <laughs> we have a blooming friendship going on there. So it just goes to show you should put yourself out there with new people and uh, it might turn into something good. I'm really excited actually, but I've got my cosy clothes on because I need to stay warm otherwise my back sort of seizes up and uh, I can't wear anything too tight so yeah I don't really feel like I'm dressed up enough to go to the theatre but I'm sure we'll be fine it's gonna be dark in there anyway <laughs> health food for dinner oh my god <laughs> <laughs> morning everyone happy Wednesday it's Wednesday today um how are we I absolutely loved the band last night it wasn't anything to do with take that uh well it was like it was their songs but I thought it was kind of going to be a um 
a story of how they got together or anything it wasn't it was just a really lovely heartwarming emotional story about a group of girls who all loved take that growing up um got split up at school and then all came together when they were all middle-aged i just i just absolutely loved it it was really heartwarming it was nice and it was good to have a little sing along so um if you're a fan of the take that songs and you want a good girly night out i would say it's a girly night out um then head over and see the band it's touring the uk at the moment um so i'm on the way to go and meet lauren i'm gonna go and collect her from the station um she's coming over for the day and staying over which is really nice and she's meeting toby for the very first time which is also exciting just realized i've forgotten all the stuff i need to take back to next so i'm gonna go back in and get this what are you doing in your bed can you say hello to auntie lauren like who's this crazy lady say hello <laughs> no what, that's a candle you can't have that where's your reindeer it smells nice as well where's your reindeer Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you. My hair's not done. It's never done. I did like. <laughs> it is when I'm not here. Lies. Didn't make up on the train. Lovely. I'm one of those idiots. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> Toby, stop ringing your bells. We're going to go out for a walk. Yeah, we're going to go take Toby out for a little walk now. Even though neither of us can be bothered, can we? It's cold. I'm going to put my big coat on. <gasps> you want to go for a walk? He doesn't look thrilled. No. Orkies. Does he know word work orkies yet? No, he doesn't. But no. he gets very excited when you put his collar on. He probably even knows the word champagne. <laughs> champagne! <laughs> See? <laughs> Prosecco! <laughs> champagne! Yeah. Doggy champagne. You can get it, it's called poor Secco. Oh no. It's for like should be just... really sad cat people and dog people. Like me. Gonna buy him some. I think he's more of a beer dog. I'm getting the doggy beer for Christmas. Brew dog. Brew dog. Uh, excuse me, do not feed your dog, brew dog. It is not dog friendly. <laughs> I'm calling the RSPCA. Hi. Toby, where's your ball? Find it. Good boy. Ready. <laughs> Woo. I'm <laughs> don't see wildlife down south, do you? Hello. <laughs> he did jump in here willingly. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh. your lens <laughs> I am currently just doing some work that needs doing today and then we're going to film a video um, even though we're both very very tired I think it's the weather it's like so dark we just want to cozy up with a bottle of wine and watch TV but I think we're going to film a video for Lauren's channel and be uh, be productive yeah it smells like it's, like, it's like a man candle man candle um this is dinner pasta fresh egg pasta chicken <laughs> Spinach, mushrooms, and a tomato mascarpone sauce with a bit of salad. It's nice. How are you getting on? Have you made a new friend? I think so. What did you just say? I said I'd love to walk into town. You said you won't walk into town. I'm not in the mood for walking, even though it's 10 minutes away. <laughs> Morning, everyone. We are both dead to the world. <laughs> and Toby wants some chocolate toast on spread. Oh. What's going on here? I can't wait to try this. It's so good, crunchy spread, haven't had it in ages. Let's put Jeremy Kyle on. I literally look like I'm off to the Arctic. <laughs> it's cold outside today. So we're gonna go and uh, walk Toby and we're gonna go and take Laura to the station. Fleeting visit and it's not been very fun actually. Well it has. Has been well, fun. <laughs> oh, I mean, Wait. oh on the it's vlog. Been rubbish. On the vlog. We haven't really. You've had too much fun to vlog it. We've just been very tired. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go walking. Major hat hair. <laughs> that was a lovely walk. It's so bitterly cold outside, but the sun's shining. So it's like blue sky, scarves and sunglasses, weather, which is one of my favorites. It's like when you, you're walking along and you can feel the bitterness on your, on your nose and on your cheeks. 
But um, yeah, it was nice to get out and walk and Laura's gone home now, quick, quick visit. Sorry, it's not been like, what I mean by it's been a bit crap is that normally when she comes over, we just have so much fun on camera, but to be honest, because we haven't seen each other properly for ages, we were just sort of catching up. We were both a bit tired as well. But we filmed a video for her channel, which is good. Uh, I think we filmed one for mine actually. Oh shit, she's still got that footage. Um, yeah, and we just had a nice time chatting and she met Toby for the first time and uh, it's just amazing how quickly time flies. And then you like, hang on a minute, it's been like four months since the last time she was up here or maybe even longer. And then you just get so busy and wrapped up with your lives, don't you? Anyway, um, so I'm gonna sit down now and do some editing. I've got to do right up my hair review for the Bad Apple Salon, which I'm uh, excited to write actually, because I loved it in there. And uh, invoices and all the other boring stuff. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Da -da 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 -da. It's a very exciting day. It is the unveiling of my new rediffuser from Rituals. <laughs> I got the Happy Buddha one, which is sweet orange and cedar wood. And oh my goodness, it just smells incredible. Do not <laughs> that. It smells amazing. So I'm kind of popping it in this middle room here where I film in the hope that it will waft through into the living room and also waft through into the kitchen because it's a really, really strong um, sort of re-diffuser. I just love them. They're, they're expensive, but my God, they're incredible. And I think these ones are meant to last like three months and um, they're a lot bigger than normal re-diffusers. So yeah, it's a very special treat from Rituals. Thank you so much, guys. But oh makes me so happy. Is that sad? I think that's sad. I'm still working away. It is currently, what time is it? Half six. Oh, it's not as late as I thought it was. That's fine. Um, yeah, working away on my blog posts, invoices, all the boring stuff that comes along with running your own business. Need to put my washing away. That has been there for literally days. It's so dry. It's ridiculous. That needs to go away, but um, that's a job for tomorrow. Toby, get off there. Do not. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Nothing to report, really. Not doing anything this evening. Bit of a boring Thursday night. Um, I have some pasta, because that's all I've got in the fridge, really. Some chicken. Excuse me. Off there. Off. Off. Oi, off. Come on. Yeah, I might have some pasta, even though I pretty much have the same thing as we had last night, but... That's all I've really got in, to be honest. Actually, I've got stuff to make like a phyllo tart, but I just can't be bothered. And when you're like cooking for yourself, it's really depressing. <laughs> I think pasta's just easier, just be done with it, and then maybe make that at the weekend and try and invite someone round. I really want to just run a bath and um, read my book from um, Elle. Uh, the guilty wife that she sent through because I only managed to start it on the train the other week and I, that's as far as I've still got. I haven't managed to pick it up since then. Um, so I want to run a bath, light loads of candles and read that book. Um, but this little man is being so clingy today and I don't know why. He's just being a bit of an asshole. So yeah, I'm going to keep working and if I've got time and if he will settle, because I'm not letting him in the bathroom with me because he will jump in the bath. Because <laughs> he loves the bath. So I can get him to settle in his bed so I can just have an hour of peace. Where, where did you get that leaf from? Sorry, it's a bit of a boring night tonight. Not really, not just doing anything at all, but I am going out tomorrow. I'm going out with um, Sam from the work lot. You do not need another way. He's driving me mad, he's driving me mad. I'm going out with Sam with the work lot tomorrow uh, to Birmingham to Tapas Revolution, which is a new restaurant there. Um, it's just me and Sam. We invited Deck and we invited the other guys, but um, the other guys can't make it and Deck doesn't talk to us anymore um, because he got a girlfriend and she doesn't like the fact that he had girlfriends, which to be fair, I can completely understand. Um, I think she's been cheated on before, so I get it. I do get it. Like I was really anxious with um, like Chris and his girlfriends and stuff at first, but I don't know. You just, over time, you just get over it, you just get used to it and you meet them and you realise that you've got nothing to worry about and yeah, but I think she um, she's just a bit insecure so unfortunately Deck doesn't speak to us anymore which I'm good about because we used to have such a great laugh together and he was a really good friend and um, he used to come out with us on the office nights out but he doesn't even do that anymore which is, that's a bit odd because it's not just one on one, it's like with all the guys as well but I don't know, he's in love so 
he's made his choice. <laughs> We're not calling off anymore. But uh, yeah, unfortunately no one else can come. So it's just me and Sam tomorrow. But we're just going to booze it up, have some beer, chat about his lovely new house that he's moving in with his girlfriend. Oh my God, his house, his new house is so beautiful. I'm very jealous. All right, I'm coming. Um, but yeah, tonight not doing much. So stay tuned for tomorrow. And I'm sure Sam will come on camera and have a laugh with me. That was the tiniest wee ever. You were just being an attention seeker. <sighs> Good morning everybody, happy Friday and happy December. Can't believe it, really can't believe it. We're in the last month of the year now. And uh, yeah, 2017 is nearly over, goodness me. So we can officially start getting Christmassy now. And also we can start opening our advent calendars. Now my auntie Jane, every single year since I can remember, has bought me a Cadbury's Dairy Milk advent calendar. And I love her for it because, I don't know, she's never too old for an advent calendar. However, because we have a little man this year in the house, my mum has also bought Toby an advent calendar. So, should we open day one? It's a luxury one. Oh, Toby. Should we try and find door number one? Should we try and find it? Let's have a look. You're going to scrabble at this. Oh, Toby, you have to find door number one. <laughs> you're a clever kid but I don't think you're that clever here we go here it is look oh so exciting oh my goodness what's this <laughs> uh -uh. there you go good boy taking that gently is that nice? Get one of those every single day. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. It's a good sign. I think somebody's enjoying that. It's also keeping you quiet for a little while. That's the best thing ever. Thanks, Mum. Um, <clears throat> so today, oh, very blurry. It's probably for the best. Looking at my face this morning. <laughs> I feel so tired today. Oh, dear me. I'm not sure whether I should go um, next time it's... Um, refill time for my antidepressants i'm not sure whether i should just sort of mention that they are making me so tired like all the time um i don't know whether that's just a thing of antidepressants in general or whether we should try some different ones for me because oh god sorry I, there's nothing i can do with this hair needs washing um yeah i don't know because i think they're, they're working really well on the whole making me feel myself again side of things uh, but I just do feel tired all the time so yeah I think I'm going to just discuss it with her when I go back but it's not stopping me from doing anything it's just I just feel a bit lethargic a lot it doesn't matter how many hours sleep I get I just always feel knackered but it's fine I feel happy about it so swings and roundabouts <laughs> excuse my disheveled ex <laughs> appearance I'm halfway through drying my hair and the uh, the postman just came we've just had a parcel through and it's from brownpaperpackages.co.uk and my friend Joe sent it me and says to Amelia here's a little treat for you to brighten up your day lots of love from Joe and I just thought I'd open it on camera because I've never heard of this company before oh minty elderflower hand cream that looks nice elderflower hand cream this oh a little notebook that's really cute perfect size for the handbag this is adorable or oh, bigger notebook, also handy, especially because I've run out of notebooks. I need to get a new diary. I keep meaning to get a new diary, but all the like mid-year diaries are all gone, so I may as well just wait until next month and get one for 2018. What's this? The Wellbeing Journal: Creative Activities to Inspire. Oh my god! It's got like colouring in it and little quotes. The Earth had it has its music for those who will listen. Pen to paper, the next time you need to relax, try this simple drawing exercise. And it tells you how to do it. Thoughts and feelings. Oh my God, that is like, that is really cute. That is, that is so cute. I love that. I love that. And it's in, in association, oh, in aid of mind, the charity mind. That's awesome. Oh, Joe, this is really cheered me up. And what's this? Oh, nail polish as well. Always good. Especially, look how bare my nail. I haven't painted them or done gels in ages. Always hand. Oh, that's a fancy pen. Slimline little grey thing. Helps more in my journal. That is so 
such a cute parcel. Oh, thank you, Joe. I'm gonna have to go and send you a message right now. But that's adorable. It says, I'm here for you. What a great little thing. I'm gonna investigate this company. What a great little way to sort of send a little thinking of you parcel to a friend. I'm gonna go and send one. Might send one back to Joe. <laughs> like not thank her on text message, but send her one back. That's cute. Oh, I'm gonna research them. I'll leave the information down below. Thanks, Joe. That's made my day. Just like the ones I used to know. Oh, the hot chocolate. Oh, gingerbread. Starbucks said this week, can I take your order? Hi, can I get um, a small soy gingerbread latte, please? Small well, soy gingerbread latte, yeah. Yeah, um, do you have any lemon and poppy seed muffins? Yeah. I'll have one of those as well, please. Yeah. Let's make your way down with payment ready for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got the lemon and poppy seed muffin too. Lemon and poppy seed muffin, I'm sorry. It's alright. And this was meant to be a small. <laughs> it's fine. I did think I'm it was. Are you sure? Good start. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Bye bye. How about that? No worries. Thank you. I don't know whether I've just got away with a good deal there or I've just been massively overcharged for a coffee, but we'll see. <laughs> Hey team, sorry I didn't film much today. I was just chatting away with Sarah, she doesn't like to be on camera so um, I don't even think about getting my camera out when I'm with her. But she's had her hair chopped off, it's incredible. She's got hair, or she had hair, as long as mine and even thicker because she didn't have any layers in it whatsoever and it was gorgeous um but she's had it chopped off into like a, a long just a bit longer than a long bob so about there oh uh, it looks amazing like it actually looks so good on her and i'm a little bit jealous <laughs> like i wish i had the balls to chop mine off to that length because i just love i absolutely love long bobs i think they look lovely and it really really suits her and if I didn't have my super long hair, that is exactly what I would have. But I just think that if I did it, I would regret it straight away. And I'd be sad that I didn't have my hair anymore. Um, but yeah, she was awesome. She looks lovely. And she hasn't seen Toby since they looked after him when he was a little tiny puppy. So it's been a while. And uh, she was like, oh my God, he's got so big. <laughs> and he's a lot calmer than he was when he was like super, super tiny. So yeah, it was really nice to see her. Oh, traffic was horrendous. I've already had to put stuff back by about half an hour. Um, so now I've got a grand total of 15 minutes to do something like this and this. And uh, yeah, run straight back out the door again. So you come here. Let's take your lead off. That reed diffuser smells incredible. I've just walked in the house and I'm like, what's that? And then I realise it's the Rituals reed diffuser, which my front door is there and the reed diffuser is on the table in there and you can smell it when you walk through the door. Very, very impressed. Very impressed indeed, Toby. How smells nice. You don't, you stink. You need a bath. Oh, that's terrible. I'm wearing um, a new Maybelline lipstick. I'm talking to the camera, not you. <laughs> I, I honestly don't care about it. Looks, it looks lovely. <laughs> it looks lovely. It's a new Maybelline lipstick. It's a new Stay Matte stuff, and it's amazing. Love it. Um, so I'm here with Sam. Hi, how are you? Because he's the only one who's free tonight. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so we're gonna go to Tapas Revolution thing. I'm excited, hopefully we can get space. <laughs> what did you just say? You literally just leaned, got, got you character. leaned right into my face and went, I'm thinking bottle of wine, are you thinking bottle of wine? I am, that sounds very good. <laughs> You're a good person to go with because you will eat everything just like me. Yes. So we can just like get all, all of the tapas. All the all the and all the wine. Red? Yeah, sure. Which ones do we choose? All of them is the answer. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's so Spanish here, I love it. Feels very authentic. What do you mean? <laughs> no, you look like a converting character as always. <laughs> oh my god. This <laughs> is so good. That's fine, it's fine. Breathe in. I've got a loose fitting shirt. Did you wear your spanks? Tonight. Well, look, at this, look how much room there is. So <laughs> you got your maternity pants on. This wine's really good though. Yeah, what is it? So I'm impressed. See, Sam's a wine expert. But you even let me Let's pick. Say specialist. <laughs> specialist. But you even let me pick. We nailed it. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> That's a really unattractive angle. I'm just like, um, I'm trying out. 
trying out this new lipstick from Maybelline that I got sent this uh, the other day. Let me have a look. I'll find it. Why well, you finished the chore? I'm also eating chores. <laughs> I look very, very tired. Oh my god. No, it's gone. Lost it. Edit this out. Here you go. This one. Um, it's the Superstay Matte Ink. And it's the first time I tried it. And it smells amazing for a start. And it's also survived pretty much the entire meal. And we've eaten a lot of food. And drunk a lot of wine. Highly you recommended. Yes, you have. I haven't, I haven't had any. Highly recommended by me. Like it, and this is the shade 20 Pioneer. No one cares. I'm just saying it just in case someone asks, and I don't have to reply to the comments later and try and like dig through my bag and find out what it is. <laughs> it was really good, I actually didn't like it. Okay, bye. So I just started to reapply my lipstick. What on your teeth as well? Is it? You're doing it well. <laughs> just oh, started... you are the best advocate for this. You have nailed it. It's this. a good job I'm not on a first date. I've just started to reapply my lipstick, and um. <laughs> I completely lied to you. This is the shade Pioneer. Completely forgot that I've got two in my bag because I got sent both of them. So we've got two. I forgot I had two in my bag. And I started to put it on and Sam was like, is it supposed to be a different, does it change colour when you put it on your lips? I'm like, no, why? The one I'm actually wearing is number 50, Voyager. So we're trying to avoid the Christmas market because they're hell. Um, we found this little pop which is also so busy. Everybody, how are we today? Am I on the right mode? No, I'm not on the right filming mode, so hopefully this still turns out right. Anyway, um, yeah, I had a really good night last night. My throat is killing me because that bar was so loud. We basically had to yell at each other to um, <clears throat> talk at all. But yeah, I had a really good night. Apart from, got to get my train and my last train home was cancelled. So then I had to get a train to... And then I just thought, right, quick, think on my feet. So I got a train to the nearest station near me. And then um, there was going to be a tight but doable connection home. No. <laughs> because then that train got delayed on the tracks. So I missed the connection. And then I had like 2% battery on my phone. And my um, cable for my portable charger stopped working. So I had to just text Lucy and be like, I'm stranded, can you come and rescue me? Because the taxi would have been a fortune. I was like, can you come and rescue me? But my phone's dying. Um, so I'm just trusting that you're gonna be here and I'll wait here until like this time. And if you're not here, then I'll have to get a taxi. And she turned up and it was incredible. It was touch and go for a moment. So I was like, what the hell did we do before mobile phones? Where you like, you can check on people every step of the way and be like, are you still coming? Are you nearly here? I'm stood here, where are you? Genuinely. We've got day number two now. You ready? He's here, all over to here. Good boy, you sit down. Good boy. Let's open it. Oh, mommy's gonna rip it every time. It doesn't open very easily. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a red one today. <gasps> oh, good boy. I know this is really sad, but you can tell the quality of an advent calendar of how easily the doors open. There is no ripping on these, whereas <laughs> these are pretty much just uh, collapsed most days. And Toby's ones are a nightmare, but yeah, very fancy. We've got a, a, an alpine praline behind door number one. And then we have, oh, an espresso. I'm not a massive fan of coffee chocolate, even though I love coffee and I love coffee chocolate, but just not together. Do you know what though? Gonna take one for the team and eat it anyway. Also, do you recognize this bone shaped stocking? Mum's just taken Wilson's name off and put Toby's name on it. <laughs> she was like, it took me ages to make it, so we're just gonna customize it. Oh, pop it. You get a second hand stocking from a dead dog. That's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> There's nothing in it. You silly Billy, it's for Christmas Day. <laughs> Now I am well aware of how sad this is, but I saw this in Pets at Home and I was like, I have to get this for him. It's a Christmas 
dinner toy set on a frisbee plate so we could play frisbee with the plate afterwards and a Christmas pudding for afters. I just, I mean, you can't not buy this if you have a dog at Christmas time. But I thought there's no point waiting until Christmas day to give it to him because he won't have the full play out of it because then I'm not having Christmas dinner in my, uh, in my house all year round. So he's gonna play with this all throughout December. I feel like I need to take a picture of this before he destroys it. It's so sad, but I love it. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't last long, did it? Which one do you go for first? Vegetables, maybe? Turkey? <laughs> you don't quite know what to make of this one, do you? The frisbee. You can't just... Uh, the potato, cobs, boy after my own heart. What about the vegetables? Oh, vegetables. Oh, what's this? Oh. You like rope toys, normally. No? It's just too much to play with all at once. <laughs> you like the potato, don't you? <laughs> you like the potato? Yeah, that's it. That's the good sign when he runs off with it. <laughs> oh, just having a massive sneezing fit. Um, what was I going to say? Oh my god, I keep thinking about the food at Tapas Revolution. It was so good. Like, genuinely so good. I really wish I'd have bought my big camera with me so I could have, like, taken pictures and reviewed it on the vlog. It was amazing. Like, I'm definitely going back there again, 100%. And the staff were so friendly as well. And the wine we had was so good. Uh, I just, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Even though we both dank of garlic for ages afterwards after those prawns oh they're incredible but yeah really really loved it so if you are in Birmingham it's in Grand Central on the top in like the food courty bit 100% recommended really really loved it um yeah yeah good food good food good food I get so excited over good food it was really nice really nice just trying to think when I can go back there again <laughs> Ugh, even when I make an effort, I still look like poop. Anyway, I'm off out again for food because I'm a little fat, fat, fatty. <laughs> I'm going to go to Pizza Express for pizza and wine and a few drinks afterwards, even though all I kind of want to do is cuddle up and stay on the sofa because it's miserable outside. But we're powering through. I'm going to go and be social. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. How are we? I look rough as anything, but what's new? Um, <laughs> so I had the new pizzas at Pizza Express last night. They were really good. There was like a maple bacon one and a beef and horseradish one. Not horseradishy enough for me. That's hard to say with these teeth. Uh, but still really good. Ugh, delicious. Our diet starts tomorrow, though. I've got to get back on it because I'm starting to get big again. <laughs> I don't really care, but I'm like, I'm putting a weight on my clothes to get tighter. I'm like, hmm probably should go back to the gym and it will be good for my back anyway um i quite fancy a bit random but i've got bananas and eggs i quite fancy like banana pancakes you know like those where you just literally mush the thingy together but they just they're horrible to try and make maybe you could just sort of make it into like a scramble with a bit of sugar on i'm gonna get creative this morning for breakfast but first a cup of tea Scratch that, all of my eggs are out of date. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have peanut butter on toast and a banana instead. Just thought I'd update you there. Not that you really needed to know that. Exciting Sunday. I popped into Sainsbury's yesterday to pick up some kitchen roll <laughs> and I came out with some little decorations because you know I said I wanted to decorate that tree that I've got but just sparsely. Well, <clears throat> there are a few decorations and they were all on offer. They were literally like pounds. So these were three pounds and they're little um, polar bears. I thought they were so cute. This was one pound 50, the little wooden Christmas tree. And then these were three pounds as well, all these little baubles, there's 27 in there. And they're sort of silver, um, like a, a very muted rose gold and um, like a pewter color, like sort of white and then pewter. I just love them, I think they're really pretty. So, oh and I also got Toby an extra squirrel for Christmas Day because it's his favourite toy, but don't tell him. Um, <laughs> he can't understand, he's a dog, Amelia. Yes, I know. Um, so all these are gonna go, <clears throat> quick, Toby, quick. Let's go show everybody, quick. Let's go show, let's go show them. <laughs> They're all gonna go on here, which is from festivelights.co.uk and they sent this over to me. Um, and I really like it. It's been down in my bedroom for, well, since I got it. And it's quite, it's like a nice night light, but look, it sort of plugs in. Dun, dun, dun. Plugs in, 
comes in and lights up and I just thought it's really cute it's some, one of those things that you can have all year round but then for Christmas I thought I would just hang a few little baubles off it um, and just have like a minimalist Christmas tree because I can't afford again to buy like a bit a new one with all the decorations but for the sake of like £10 and um, something I've already got we're gonna go for a modern Christmas tree I think it's gonna work Toby what do you think you're just trying to find crumbs of my toast off that coffee table off Yes, naughty. Don't wag that tail. Don't wag that tail at me. <laughs> He's like, Mum, I'm so cute. I could get away with everything. You are quite cute. Fine, I'll let you have it. It's to look a lot like Christmas. Soon the bells will start. I'm actually in love with this. How adorable is this? I feel like I need to get a few of those, like two more of those to like even it up, but that's so cute. Oh yes, you're playing with your Christmas pudding. It's a very loud squeak, isn't it? What? <laughs> we are officially Christmassy. So we've got our little Christmas tree here. Have little stockings with Amelia and Toby that mum made. The Merry Christmas sign that she made and some garlands that I made about two, three years ago, but it all works. There you go. Christmas decorations on a budget, but it's pretty damn festive. What do you think, Toby? He doesn't care. He's got his Christmas pudding. He's happy as Larry. Yay! I have had such a lazy Sunday and I'm already back in my pyjamas and I don't even care. Everything feels so Christmassy in here with the lights on and the tree. Feeling very happy and sort of content and I've got my little puppy in his Christmas jumper just snoozing on me here. <laughs> so I'm going to leave the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this week guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, see you next week. What's going on next week? Going out with the guys, the old work lot next weekend uh maybe going to the cinema with lucy that'd be nice that's about it we'll see i'm sure something else will come up but yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye <laughs> at home i bet you bloody do went in for a toothbrush come out with all these toys oh what big teeth you have grandma Oh, the better to numb you with. Ha ha. Oh, they are being scary. I'm so happy. A little bit buzzing. It's great. Well done, me. <laughs>